All right, welcome back to Majora's Mask, and we're still in Stone Tower Temple. Duh. Okay. Oh, this room. Hmm. Okay. 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 Can't do anything with that. I will be able to later, just not now. And that right there. I believe that's called an Igor. Uh, they can only be stopped by an item that we'll be getting later in this temple. So for now, we must swim in the water like a fish. Or a Zora. I mean, I guess that'd, that'd be a bit better than just swimming around like a fish. It's, it's better to swim around as a Zora. Okay, where am I going? It's almost as if I'm not very familiar with this place. What is that noise? Oh, the Igor is moving. Oh, that's weird. Those things are weird in this game. They're creepy in this game. And they, I don't think... I could be mistaken. I don't think Igors have been in 3D Zelda games aside from Majora's Mask. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, then. That was most unusual. Huh. That is very strange that that happened. Let's go ahead and surface over here. Oh, we need to jump out of the water. Okay, cool. I need to recenter myself. I hate aiming this thing. Oh, yikes. Oh, boy. Okay. Come on. And go up. Oops, not up now. That was too soon. I don't like water mechanics in Majora's Mask. Because they're just not fun. That's... Really? I just want to get up there. Can you throw me up there, please? That'd be nice if you could. Thank you! For once, a Dexa hand helped me out. Can I open this? No? Yes? Maybe? Yes. Small key. Good. Which means I'm done in here, because there's nothing else I can do in here. Okay. That's good. See, I'm not even really sure if I could... Ooh, that wasn't good. Is there another Dexter hand over here? No. I have to do this manually. Okay, we might be here for a little while. Just because the game must do things all kinds of the wrong and hard way. That's cool. Why? Why didn't that work? Why is moving in water make me want to vomit? Really? You know what? I might just do a cheating method. Uh, if I can ever get on the land, I could probably just pick up my ocarina and. Really? That didn't work. Mmm, that's cool. Man, I sure do not understand why people like this game. Because it cannot be for the way it plays. That's for darn sure. Can you please stop being stupid? Oh, speaking of being stupid. First of all, there's something over here. Which means I'm probably not supposed to get back up the way I was. My bad. No, wait, wait. Wait. What is... Why is it so hard to always see in this game? This guy got just the brightness all over again. Ugh, yikes. There. Okay, what'd that do? Oh, upside down treasure chest. That's neat. Uh, that's totally what I needed. 
And I totally don't need to see where I'm going, because, you know, why would that ever be important? Just surface. Or can I surface? Why can't I see? Why is lighting such an issue in this game? Okay, well now it's daytime, which means I can see. Oh, that's like a thousand times better! Yikes, don't play this temple when it's nighttime. Ugh, big yikes. Okay, there's something here. Okay. Reflect off the mirror. I don't know if mirrors work like that. They can store light in that thing. Okay. And there's a thing. Let's go ahead and take the damage. And, yeah. Okay, that would have been the map and or, or compass, depending on which one I got earlier. Or, not depending. It would just be either or, really. Okay, what's around here that I can... Ah. Aha. I thought there was something weird. Let's go ahead and use a fire arrow. Alright, here we go. What'd that do? Okay, an upside down treasure chest there. That's neat. Uh, speaking of, over there, we can use that key we got earlier over here. So let's do that. What is this? Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so we can punch those out with the Goron Mask. Wham. It's like that one mechanic in Snowhead Temple that I really like a lot. Okay. And we're good. Alright, so a lot of these are gonna be fake. These sun things. They're just not gonna do anything. Or they'll... They'll either do nothing, they'll spawn an enemy, or they'll spawn a treasure chest. I mean, it, it, I really, really don't know which one it is, but I'm gonna hit all of them. So I'm used to those also spawning, like, floor wall masters. So, I'm nearly expecting that to happen. Okay, so those didn't do anything. They're just wasting my time. Okay. So now, I have to store energy here, and then, eh, that should be good. There we go. That one's been knocked out of the way. And then I think there's one over here, if I can move, yeah, here we go. So over here. First, let's open this up, key, okay, straight fairy, that's good too. I need that. Okay. So now... We'll store light here for a while. That's good. Then we'll store that light over here for as long as that light goes for. Okay. And then, you know, that actually is a pretty cool mechanic. Using the mirrors to store light and then reflect light. I mean, that's not how mirrors work, obviously, but who cares? These are very odd mirrors, and this world isn't even normal anyway, so why question it? Okay, third stray fairy. Alright. Yeah, it's weird, the stone mask is almost a necessity in this place. Especially this one area where all those black bows keep uh, getting summoned. Or just, they just spawn there. Okay, what, what's in here? Okay, red rupee. I was about to call that a red fairy. That is not a fairy. <gasps> more money. I am that much more rich. Okay. Oh, no. I remember this place. This is... This is going to be a test. Okay. Here we go. We're going to be using a lot of wind bursts here. So, we're going to pop out of this flower. Go over there. So, that all that nice polluted air is floating up. We're going to keep traveling on those to get to our objective. But there's a branching part here where it's right over here. Yeah, here we go. That's it. Whoa, don't fall off, please. 
And then in here, I believe it was a stray fairy. Yes. Come hither. Okay, now I need to be a Goron. So we can hit a switch down there. Ow. Fall damage. Boop. What does that do? Oh, that just unfires a switch. Where is it? Really? It didn't even make it sound like it was being timed. What is up with that? Okay, so I need to navigate this place a lot better than what I was doing before. Oh, there's so many things in the way. Okay. So let's do this. Recenter ourselves over here. Okay, good. Alright, recenter. Oh, no. Remember this one being a pain to try and do correctly. Because it's so time sensitive. Yeah, it's already up. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh, I don't want to do that. I don't. Can I just do this? I hate when he just hits the wall and he just stops. Like, he can't redirect himself. He can't just bounce off the wall. He just has to... I don't know. And there's no, like, there's no slow turning. There's no slow movement either. I can go about that fast, and that's not nearly fast enough. Ugh. Goodness. Okay. Let's get one more shot on screen. And then... And then I'll try to... Oh, come on. Don't bounce off, please. Are you for Oh, that worked! That's amazing! I bumped into it, and then I hit the fire that was coming up as I was hitting the switch. That's awesome. That's like... Oh, that's... That's just the right timing. And it wasn't even right either. It was wrong. That's amazing. Oh. Man. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I kind of get it why there would be stuff in the way. But when it's that cramped and crowded, it just makes for frustration. It doesn't make you feel like you'd accomplish anything if you got it. You're just like, oh, I lucked out. And that's what it feels like. It feels like luck. In a temple that's full of puzzles. And it shouldn't be based on luck. But what do I know? I'm just some guy playing Zelda. I mean, that's not my name, but that's... Come on. Why do you not turn right? Come on, get more air. There we go. Maybe that's a recenter. Come on, don't fall. Whoa! Barely caught that one. Again, it just feels like luck more than half the time with those things. I played the first time and I missed that a lot. And then when I played the 3DS version, I still kept missing. It's just, it depends. It just depends on what, if the game wants you to have it or not. And that's all it is. Like, I can't do it consistently. I'm sure if I play this game more often, I probably could. But guess what? Not going to. Okay. So now, we've come to the mini-boss of the temple. And we're going to be getting our first item. So let's go ahead and do that here. Yeah, the Garo Master. That's the Garo Master. You can't fight him like an ordinary Garo. Just dodge those swords. What are you standing there for? You know, I could really just cheat this fight and take the damage and keep stabbing him. That's how amazing this is how broken having all these fairy upgrades are. He's dead. That's it. I remember that being way more spectacular than the 3DS version. <laughs> to think I could be defeated. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that which releases a sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. For that is the way of the Garo. Yeah, there we go. In this game, all kinds of weird and spooky. Alright, here we go. Let's get the first major item of the temple. 
Can you guess which it is? I wonder if it's the light arrows. Oh, hey, it's a light arrow. <laughs> All right. So now, I'm going to... Oh, there should be a thing in here that I can do. Oh, wait, I can go out here. Yeah. All right, really quick, we're going to set up our stuff, and then I'm going to uh, take on the rest of this place in the next episode.